Yes, children. Now you see how Johnsy's friend Sue gave her the hope to live, gave her the hope to stay alive. How she inspired her. She said, you won't die. She said this very energetically. You have to live for your friends. You have to live for your friends. What would happen to me if you die? So for friends you have to live. This was told very boldly by Sue. Johnsy smiled weakly and closed her eyes. After every hour or so, she would look out of the window and find the leaf still there. She had no hope of her life, so she kept on watching outside intermittently. It seemed to be clinging to the creeper. In the evening, there was another storm, but the leaf did not fall. Johnsy lay for a long time looking at the leaf. Then she called out to Sue. She was waiting eagerly that the last leaf would shed, but it did not happen. I have been a bad girl. You have looked after me so lovingly and I have not cooperated with you. So at last she called her friend Sue and said that she felt so bad that she did not cooperate with her, who looked after her a lot. I have been depressed and gloomy. The last leaf has shown me how wicked I have been. When she saw that the last leaf did not fall, she had this positive idea that she had been so bad, so uncooperative towards her friend. I have realized that it is a sin to want to die. She realized that to die is not a solution. It's a kind of sin. She hugged Johnsy. Then she gave her lots of hot soap and mirror. Johnsy com combed her hair and smiled brightly. Mm. In the afternoon, the doctor came. After examining his patient, he told Sue, Johnsy now has the will to live. The doctor declared after examining her that she had the willingness to live. That willingness is the hope towards life. I am confident she will recover soon. Now I must go downstairs and see Berman. He is also suffering from pneumonia. But I am afraid there is no hope for him. So the doctor said that Berman, the old artist, was also suffering from pneumonia and he had to go to see him. The next morning, Sue came and sat on Johnsy's bed. Taking Johnsy's hand in hers, she said, I have something to tell you. Mr. Berman died of pneumonia this morning. Mr. Berman was no more. He died of pneumonia. He was ill for only two days. He was not ill since long. The first day, the janitor found him on his bed. His clothes and shoes were wet and he was shivering. This was found by the janitor. Okay. He had been out in that stormy night. How he caught pneumonia? Because he was out that stormy night so he caught cold and it was so hard that it took his life then they found a ladder and a lantern still lighted lying near his bed mm. what was the proof that he went out that stormy night it was the ladder and a lantern which was lying near his bed. There were also some brushes and green and yellow paints on the floor near the ladder. All the painting materials were also the proof. John C. Deer said Sue, look out of the window. Look out of the window. 
Look at that ivy leaf. Haven't you wondered why it doesn't flutter with the wind blows? Why it doesn't flat flutter when the wind blows? That's Berman's masterpiece. He painted it the night the last leaf fell. He painted it the night the last leaf fell. So here Sue asked Johnsy to look out and find why that leaf was still intact in the creeper. Because it was the masterpiece. There was no leaf before. All the leaves shed. This was a painting done by Berman, who did it so beautifully that it appeared to be real. Mm. So the whole night he spent that stormy night out mm, and painted the leaf and proved that it was a real leaf. And because of that, he did not take care of his life, did not take care that he would catch cold. So in this way, Berman saved the life of John C., who was also an artist. So what we found here, or what we find here, that Berman, Berman's dream of making a masterpiece was fulfilled and on the contrary, he saved the life of a, an young artist. He saved the life of a young artist who was John C. In other words, we can say that he gave a ray of hope to John C. He also, he also uh, set an example that positive ideas energizes or positive ideas energize or rejuvenate a person. It gives or it instills positivity in our mind. We do not suffer from negative ideas. This is very important to live a healthy life. So children, you read the lesson and try to write the theme as well as the message in your notebook. Okay, thank you.